that level one. Makes a lot more sense. Fair enough. Stay down, though. He can do it again. If he wants to wake up level one again, uh, he can do it. I'm not mad about that. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. I mean, worst case, he's spending basically all of his goddamn meter here, right? Oh, nice. I didn't have the armor to tank through the DI anymore. Right, we have a big meter advantage on this Reap. Let me say we uh, use it immediately. Also, he just spent three drive gauge on that. He's going to lose one and a half from this. Like, round start, he's at half health and damn near burnt out already. There's that uh, meter advantage we were talking about earlier. I mean, that's, that's a good example right there of... Um, like, yeah, he, he took that round by, you know, wake up level winning like twice and spending a bunch of meter. But then we were very immediately able to... I mean, especially with Geef, more than almost anyone, right? His meter is so useful for him. We were almost immediately able to transition that from like, oh, you got the round to let me spend my three bar advantage to immediately put you on half health in your burnout, right? All right, folks. Got that. Immediate push kick. We are back with BBL Cola. Some Street Fighter 6 here on the road to... Eventually... At some point, Legend with uh, Geef here. And we've got a Kenneth. Hello, Kenneth. How's it going? Mr. BBL Cola. Out. Oh, nice. Okay, sure. Good extension. We're not burnt out. I'd like to keep it that way if I can. I'd almost like rather get hit here to avoid the burnout, but... Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Now, nah, there you go. Dread it, run from it. It comes all the same. Oh, nice. Wasn't ready for him to jump back with me there, but I guess I should have expected it at this point. Nice. Very lucky little uh, jump over there. Yeah, I had a feeling that might be in my future. Go to bed, Mr. Kenneth. Also, Brawl Pro with punishing FDX level 3 was so hype. I, I don't think I remember that one. But, I mean, Brawl Pro's Geef is certainly, uh, as you'd expect, from a, a, a professional king player. Got real good at Geef real fast. Aspirational. Is he minus on hit there? No way, right? I was trying to, so I'm trying to SPD uh, Ken when I block that light follow-up of Dragon Lash, because I think it's, I don't know if it's a punish, but he's minus four or minus five, one or the other. I can't remember which one it is. So, you know, I've been trying to, you know, SPD after I block it, but I got hit there, and I just let SPD rip, kind of like by habit, and it still worked. So, not sure what's going on, but I like it. Hit him with the knee. Oh, yeah, the low crush on the knee, man. Goes crazy hard. I assume he's plus on hit there and just, like, Spent too long thinking of his follow-up, right? And uh, bad things happen from that point forwards. Okay, using that, I'm trying to use that visual cue, right? Again, of, of Geef kind of like when he starts to remove his head from the opponent for the headbutt. That's when I hell step to make that a little bit more consistent for me. Oh, those, that that one's uh, that's not the heavy dragon lash, right? That wasn't plus. I just realized I was getting I got haha funny. Oh, he's out of throw range. Horrible news. Sure, you wouldn't jump, would you? Uh huh. You wouldn't drive impact me, sir. You, I, I, I would jump, though. I'm, pro I'm projecting onto you. Oh, that was plus. He said, how's this? Yeah, yeah. My bet. I was like, oh, he, he, did, the, he did the non plus one last time. Then I just smashed on Dragon Lash. I wonder if there's an SF character in Grand Blue. Would they have a four frame button? That'd be pretty crazy. That would certainly be uh, a very good asset for them. Ow. Like, just winning and all. I guess... Well, they, they wouldn't... Because, hmm, like, throws are four frames. So it wouldn't be, like, as good as I as I thought it was at first glance, but... It'd certainly be, like, an asset. I'm sure there'd be, there'd be like, weird edge cases where it'd be very nice to have a four-framer instead of a five-framer. You got a turn uh, stolen. The two-hit auto combo is fake. Oh, really? Is it that, like, with that, like, target combo that ends in the punch there? Stay down, sir. I gotta start checking these drive rushes. Nice. What? Okay, not his best combo there, certainly, but I'll take it. Expecting another DI in my future, because he uh, if we get to the corner again, because last time he messed it up, so he's gonna want to prove to himself that he can do it. Overhead, sure. That seems pretty minus to me. Get grabbed. Big damage on his forehead. Oh, nice. He's trying to buffer a level two there, possibly. Yeah, yeah. Again, right? He messed it up. He wants to not mess it up. Oh, I missed the combo. He wasn't blocking though. I missed the the link, but he wasn't blocking. Lots of moves in Granblue that are minus four. True, yeah, I guess. That they're supposed to be like safe because you're out of throw range. Depends on how big the four frame light could be, then that could be really good for them. This hypothetical character tried to throw him out of that somehow. I, mean, I was just delay teching, right? So the throw came out. It wasn't quite fast enough to uh, interrupt the overhead. That's fine. My health bar. This is also fine. Oh, nice. I was trying to tech that throw, not throw him back, but you know, it just so happened to work out that way. Nice, yeah. Bit of a silly neat. It's a lot of recovery on it for how good of a move it is, certainly. 
Okay, okay, okay. Again, I, I thought we crossed him up for a second there, so I was a little bit worried. Luckily, it was not how it went down. How do you like it? Okay, cool. He's uh, dead to level 3 here. Oh, I tried to re reset him into it. He was just dead anyway. He was dead to headbutt. I should have just done, you know, headbutt. Headbutt, hell stab, all that good stuff. Oh, nice. So I meant to level 3 there, right? I, I did it wrong, and I got uh, SPD. But it would have would have lost regardless. Good read on that uh, by that Ken that I was trying to kill him in his plus frames. Very well done. Okay, sure. Oh, that was a cross up that time because the heavy kick had some forward momentum to it. Sure. EXDP. Sure. Oh, 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 he's trying to kill me. Okay, let's just side swap him here. Nothing too fancy. Hit more one of these. Headbutt. Headbutt. Yeah, we got a meaty enough that it's a real combo there. The double headbutts are real. You wouldn't jump again, would you? You would heavy kick, goddamn. I gotta start checking these drive rushes. This is real bad. SS6 guest character is secretly Charlotta anyway. True. Edmund Honda in the video game. He didn't tell anyone, but he's there. Overhead shirt. Bit of a problem, no doubt. Okay. Not a counter hit, unfortunately. So no link there for us. EXDP? No. Thought I'd be a little bit more scared of the plus frames there, but he was not. He is, however, fortunately for me, very commonly just a little bit out of range of his throws. I feel like to punish Blyle's DP, I'm proud of myself. Wait, what do you mean? What do you, uh, like, you find a new punish for it? Or are you just, like, react, like, you're just reacting in time to actually do it? Oh, that's, pun oh, that's punishable, right? Yeah, the EX Dragon Lash is not that guy, like the heavy one. Okay, trade combo, sure. Nice. Bonk, 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 bonk. Put him down. Oh, yeah. There's a combo. I could have killed him off that, actually, now that I think about it. Oh, should have. Yep. I could have reacted to that and DI'd, certainly. I just didn't. Level 2. Burns me out. Does big damage. I like the idea still. He can't DI me, so that's certainly great news. Oh, he whiffed that. Overhead, sure. Oh, didn't anti air that. Would have been a great chance to kill him, certainly. Okay. I don't love that trade, honestly. He just whiffed, thank god. He just whiffed. I wasn't certain how to avoid the chip there. I just took out a button and he he whiffed. I was very close. Insane whiff punish? It was more of a panic. I just like saw that and I was like, I don't know, man. I tried to hit him out of it, which is certainly not possible, right? But it happened that he was just out of range. I saw being Uncle, I'm actually punishing him now. Oh, awesome. He had the real idea because you could kill him with level two hours ago. Yeah. I always forget about that, man. The the chip with level two. Very true. Okay, okay. The first two things we've done to this jury have been jump. Let's be a little bit more nice. Let's be a little bit more careful about that. I say jumping again. This time for sure, though. I oh, would do it a third time. I was thinking of doing a drive rush knee, but they stuck out a button there to check me. Well done. That's punishable? I don't think I knew that. I mean, it looked minus as hell, but I didn't, I didn't expect to actually punish that. Okay, yeah, sure. Yeah. Enough hits. It'll break the armor there. Get wake up SPD. Get swept. No reversal. I was very certain that that jury would want to do a reversal of some kind there. Drive rush? You got a fast drive rush. You want to use it, certainly, don't you? Oh, sweet. Nice, nice, nice. Oh. Okay. Never mind. I missed my old punches on Bilal DP. Bring back 125 meter combos. Fortunately not. Thank you, JMK, for being the homie. Nice. I got shimmied again. Not as bad in the mid-screen, certainly. Could be worse. Nice. Just to kind of cross up there. Land on the other side of her. OMG robbed. You know. I feel their pain. I miss links all the time. Oh, speaking of missing things, I miss my goddamn meaty. But it's fine. It works out. It works out. We're chilling. Don't worry about it. It's all good. It's all good. No problems here. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, okay, okay. I do. I've done round star jump every time. It worked once, though. Have you considered that? You consider that it worked once, and that's why I keep doing it? Okay. We spent a lot of drive gauge on that. Certainly. It's fine by me. They whiff their throw. Unfortunate for them. Horrible news. Bad timing. Just barely off, in fact. But Unfortunately, the closest thing to a perfect meaty is a whiffed meaty. It's not an almost perfect meaty. I'll take that trade. He's sticking that button out a lot. I wonder why. Especially considering that it's, yeah, it's, it's punishable on block, right? Oh, I did not think fast, even though I was instructed to. That's my bad. You wouldn't jump out, would you? You would try. Amazing. 
Rick cheating, bring Ladiva JM into a whole nother game. This is like better than Ladiva JM. It really might be. Like this button's so dumb. His jumping medium kick there. That's kind of a cross up too. Got it. Not like as good as body splash, obviously. Like you can see right there. That was also very ambiguous. I was not certain I was gonna cross up at all right there, but we did. Again, punishable, right? I, maybe even SPD punishable? I wonder how, mon how minus on block that really is. DP? No. Bonk, bonk. Put her in the infinite. DI? Oh, oh. Huh, 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 huh. Okay, I was a little worried that I wasn't going to kill her, but it was enough damage. At this point, I'm certain Ladiva's the fusion of Geef and Hugo. Yeah, this, this, man, this button, man. Like, this, that jury was so good at the anti airs, but sometimes this button just, like, gets you in anyway, right? Like, this is... I got people, a lot of people talking about knee and how dumb that is. Fair. I think I think that jumping medium kick is like a really big like problem button that needs to be looked at for Geef. You know what I mean? It, 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 he shouldn't have that, man. He shouldn't be able to get that get, get in that easily. I don't. It's so cheap. Even even like a uh, a raging rabid jumper like myself. Even against someone who's pretty good at anti airs or decent at anti airs, right? Even still, I just like sneak in on them pretty often. Hugo's one of the few grapples I've never touched, so I wouldn't be able to tell which parts were inspired from him. I, I, I've i never uh, played Hugo either, actually. But the Lariat part? Oh, okay, okay. The clothesline. Running at him. Hello, Aki. How's it going? Oh, boy, we fought this BCS Pop-Tart guy before. I recognize this thing. Okay, sure. Bonk, bonk. Get grabbed. Start off right. Put the Fear of the Command grab in them early. Oh, nice. See, yeah, I delayed that that, that uh, crush medium kick because I was trying to uh, potentially combo it into Hell Stab if I was close enough, right? But uh, that also meant that I was the odds of me recovering in time to be safe from that DI were basically zero. All right, yeah, we got we got back tech more. I forgot about that part. Nice. What's well, a punish counter too? Because I stuck out a button. Very good for them. Bitchin. Oh, okay, okay. Ow, ow. Oh, missed combo. We take those certainly. Can jump a medium kick. Be in the homie. Trade combo? No. Oh, I could I could have killed them there though. I will kill them here instead. Hi, at Evo was so fun to watch. She's the one who was like twerking on stage and doing splits and stuff and all that all that good that good shit. Oh. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, nice. Got throw baited there. Bitchin! What what does she say when she drive rushes? Because I I I'm I'm pretty certain it's not bitchin. But it's it sure sounds like that. It sure sounds like bitchin'. But I oh, you, you, oh, could have been a way worse punish. I'll take that gladly. Okay, sure. This gets us out of the corner a little bit there. Fred is gonna die this round because I've been a little bit too careless. Yeah, exhibit A. Nice. I tried to drive rush in and sweep right there, which is certainly not my fastest option. I just got thrown out of it. The mid air Tatsumaki parry too. Ow, ow. Okay. Let's, let's try, try and stay a little bit more grounded here. If we can help it. Ow. Oh, command grab. So true, bestie. My bad. Nice. No punish, luckily. Minus on block, but safe there. Again, a possible place to SPD them, potentially. They mashed on wake up, huh? Afraid of the SPD, I suppose. Okay. Minus, I, I, I assume minus there by how they were playing it, but not, not minus enough. Okay, if, if they touch me next time, I'm dead. We'll go into level three, almost certainly here. Oh, sweep. Nice. My sweep got uh, bullied again. Yeah, yeah. Very dead. Good stuff. Yeah, we're trying to kind of sweep them from a little too close, I think. And it got me killed a lot of the times in this matchup. Owie. My magnum opus. That's a cool KO screen, certainly. Not a huge fan of uh, Aki's whole thing she's got going on, but her supers look cool as hell, and there's no denying that. I don't, especially level 3, right? I like her level 3 more than her CA, though, I think. Which is kind of weird. Oh, I meant to SPD that. And uh, messed it up both times. One time I got crouching uh, light punch, the other time I got a jump, as you can see right there. Nice. Okay. Mm-hmm. No anti-air for me, and I got command grab. My bad. I prefer the base character. I mean, the skin, I think the skin looks better than the base character, but uh, not a huge fan of, of either of them. But I, 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 a lot of people love the aesthetic and they love the skin, so it's all very subjective, natural. About to throw me, get bopped instead, get grabbed also. Yeah. Oh, I tried to like just drive rush in and jump there, but I waited a little bit too long, I suppose. 
I got crossed up. I actually realized I was going to get crossed up in time there, which is good. That's rare for me. I went to parry, and I just kicked into it. That's, once again, horrible news. Sweep actually working for once. That's a combo like that. Okay, 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 okay. I tried to go chop, like, all three chops. My, my, my brain just, like, did a stupid. That one works on counter hit, man. Yeah, there we go. There's that medium kick, man. It is, it is certainly a thing. Put him in the infinite. Put him in the infinite. Oh, I thought... I, I saw... I heard, like, a noise and some colors, and I was like, oh, they DI'd. Because people do like, usually like to DI if you just put them in the knee infinite like that. But no, that was her reversal. That's my bet. Okay, sure. They have been loving that throw bait recently. Plus on block, sure. Back dashing away. You wouldn't, like, DI me, though, would you? Okay, I'll get thrown. I don't like it, but yeah, it's much better than getting throw baited right here. Oh, I tried to jump again. Yeah, yeah, bad idea. Very bad idea. Am I dead meterless here? No, I'm not. Okay. But I am getting just getting it thrown. Nice, nice. Yeah, I, I tried to drive rush in and uh, jump really late again. But uh, I'm doing it. I, I need to be a little bit earlier than that. I was getting smacked. Okay. That's also causing me a lot of trouble. That's the same. Just jumping over the fireball and getting kicked every time. Oh, wheel kick. What? I guess because you're very slow, but still. Why? Oh, I tried to throw her out of that, and I got counter hit for it. That's bad. That's a lot of damage. What in the... My bad. Is that a, I assume that's a save jump of some kind? I wasn't ready to get hit media like that, and now I'm gonna die. Nice, nice. Okay, okay. Fair enough. Yeah, I thought they were just jumping in on me. I didn't think they would hit me right as I woke up there. But I guess that's uh, probably a save jump of some kind. Alright, nice, nice. Well done, well done. Still a lot of uh, a lot of work to be done in our game plan against Aki, certainly. Jumping the fireballs actually can work. I just have to be uh, early on the draw there. They threw a fireball round start basically every time. And the one time that I basically like jumped preemptively before I even was, you know, looking at it, we did manage to beat out their anti-air the second time, right? But uh, certainly a little bit too much jumping overall, even with that in mind. Hello, Guile. Greek Guile. With an American flag on his shoulder. Makes lots of sense. Could have swept him there or crashing medium kicked him or something. Oh, he's got a ton of safe jump setups? I, I suppose so. Now I know. And knowing is half the battle. Or whatever. Howie. Again, could have swept him there. Gotta be better at reacting to these Sonic Blades. Can't be doing that that close and be safe. Oh, headbutt a little bit short there, unfortunately. Oh, okay. He whiffed something next to me. I thought I could throw it. Very much not the case. Great combo. Amazing. Had a feeling. Nothing too fancy. He wouldn't do it again, though. Oh, damn it. Is that, is that, is that, is he doing that on purpose? Is he whiffing that both times on purpose? Every time I see him whiff a button next to me, I'm like, oh, throw. He'll extend his throw hurtbox here. It'll be perfect. And every time I'm like right out of range and I got bullied. Maybe it is on purpose. Who knows? Regardless, it's working pretty damn well. Okay. No, sir. That's the nice thing about that meaty headbutt is it uh, does recover fully in time to be DI, even if I miss the cancel window. He actually would lose if he did the special anti-air instead of the normal, and he saw that. You couldn't jump after because he was using the correct anti-air because he adapted. You're talking about the Aki with the fireballs? Ow, ow. Because the, the one time that I got a jump in was like really late into the set, actually. It was like the second last round. Ow, ow. Ooh, okay. Nice. Uh, I don't think level 3 kills him there. I don't think so. Here, though, certainly does. EX Lariat itself might have anyway. The second hit might have done it. But uh, we'll just, you know, why not? Why not be safe? No kill like overkill, after all. Zongief wins. Okay, not bad. Yeah, Guile has never felt that horrible for Geef, honestly, despite the fact what you might expect in this game, anyway. I don't know about previous Street Fighters. I think for, for being, you know, such a, a pure zoner, something about it, it never felt that awful. Compared to like, you know, like JP in Season 1, back when I played more of the game anyway. JP certainly felt worse than Guile. Oh, nice. He tried, yeah, he, I like the adaptation. He did try to like knock me out of the air there. It just didn't quite work for him. I crossed him up. I didn't think I was going to do that. Yeah, fair enough. Okay, okay, let's calm down a little bit on the jumps against this Guile here. They were serving us well, but let's not get too cocky. Nice, thank you, Neat. What is that? Is that even... Even with uh, Drive Rush, is that plus? 
Looks like maybe the answer is no. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Wake up. Thingy? No. Oh, okay, okay, he was saving it. Oh, okay, he can't sweep him that. Yes, he gets uh, set up off. I tried to sweep him on wake up there, but yeah, well, the thing was already set. The projectile, right? Oh, tried to jump last second there and got hit out of it. Nice. When he's crouching heavy kick for the anterior beat with JMK, so start using uh, the special version. Ew, jump flip out. I was ready to like headbutt his ass there. So I just whiffed a headbutt into the ether. Oh, I meant to reset him into SPD and I misinputted it. Horrible news, but it's what happened. Air throw. Interesting. More reliable in some ways, I suppose. Perfect pair. Okay, okay, hold on a second here. I meant to level three on wake up and I didn't get it. Nice, nice. And then in my in my further attempts to mash, I got throw. Bad news, bears. Good stuff. You can literally through the guile thing, you have to read his hands. Is it? I guess, I guess that, the, just like the standing little wind blade there, Larry, it's immune to that too. I guess it is a projectile, probably. Or, or what exactly? Because the sonic booms themselves, sure, but like, the actual like sonic blade before it's triggered, before he sends someone through it, yes it is? Oh, okay. So if he does that close up, he just larry him then, huh? Seems pretty good. <laughs> okay, okay, my bad, my bad. We, we, we were just like staring at each other for long enough there. I was like, well, we haven't done this yet. But he, he was very, certainly ready for it. That's fair. I'm burnt out. I hate it here. Oh, okay. Very lucky. We'll take any out of the corner that we can get, though. Oh, I tried to DI him back, and he, he saw I was in the start of a heavy kick right there. Because guess what? I didn't have DI. Uh, I'm not dead, so I was also screwed there, I think. There's no way for me to get out of that. I think, unless I had level 2, in which case, there was a world, but it was still a very expensive world. Yeah. Guiles do have to down back very much, with that in mind, makes them very vulnerable to wheel kick. I, I, don't, I don't hit wheel kick on any character as much as I do on Guile, I think, in my experience. Sure. Sure. Oh, real slow one. Not sure if that was intentional or what. Nice, caught me, trying to jump again right as I landed there, actually, is what happened. Wasn't ready for the low. Yeah, so I could have larried it right there, just like, on reaction, I suppose. Okay, fair. Try to knee over that low. No such luck. Okay, okay, I'm getting... Having a bad time. Oh, he's out of throw range! What do you mean? Nice, Jimmy. I tried to just back throw him after the perfect parry there, but he was, he was out of throw range. A little bit too far away on the button that he used. Oh god, wait, he's going, he's going. Aggro guile. He switched up his tempo a little bit here. Making my life a little bit harder. And I certainly am not. I'm still just jumping at his ass. You can sweep. Uh, you can sweep it too if you see it on startup. Yeah. yeah. But sometimes if you're a little bit late. You just sw uh, the sweep hits the Sonic Blade basically. All right. Sure. Sure. Oh, we didn't do anything that time. Oh, that was a miss input by the boy though. Give us a chance. He did back tech. Clever boy. Oh, okay. Oh, drive rush overhead. I'm not dead. I think I should have been dead there, but I love to see another day. We'll certainly take. Bonk, bonk. Oh, okay. Nice. Oh, okay. Fair enough. I'm not sure if that jump was intended to beat something else, but it certainly works against, works against the DI right there. Sonic Blade extends his leg hurt box quite a bit. Yeah, yeah I know. I'm gonna say about it, when he when he puts out the projectile. Sometimes you sweep and you just hit right into it uh, if if it's already up. Which is why the idea of lariating through it instead seems like an interesting idea. But uh, I, was, I wasn't able to do either one, unfortunately. Hello, Ryu. Well adapted by that guy, certainly. And, I mean, mostly in the sense that he just waited for me to jump a lot more, which is certainly a uh, a good idea. Especially because it worked so well in the first game. I got, like, really high on the supply of just jump at this guy. Oh, sure. Try to throw him out of that. we got to stop doing that. When I see these overheads, like, I, I hit the throw button. And uh, it has not been... It works sometimes. But overall, has not been my friend, I don't think. Okay, sure. Sure. Burnt out, fella. Not safe from that distance. Oh, yeah. Especially with him in burnout, right? Interesting. Uh, just do this, I guess. Stun? No. Just barely not, unfortunately. Minus. Punishable, actually. Oh, it's a punish counter. Goddamn. Punishable there, actually, just not by chops. Oh! My bad. No extension, you just mash DP. That's fair, that's fair. 
Just left a, a gap there for him. EXDP. Get off me, he says. That's fair, honestly. I wouldn't want Zangief anywhere near me either. If he had the plans to hurt me anyway, which I obviously do. EXDP again. Also interesting. That's a, I mean, that's a, in, in theory, a drive rush, uh, a drive gauge friendly trade for him there, right? Because I spent three bars of drive gauge on the cancel. He spends two on the XDP, but he was close enough to burn out that it's not such a good idea. I, love, I do love heavy kick to hold people down like that. Okay, he's dead here if we don't mess it up. And we don't. Nice. Not bad. We take those. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. I've been uh, trying to delay tech a little bit more, right? Just like holding block for a bit and then hitting throw. So if they hit me, I block it. And if they throw me, I tech it. Obviously, that's, it makes you even weaker to like shimmies and neutral jumps and things like that. You might otherwise be, but... Until I fight someone who's doing that a lot, it varies from person to person, right? It's not a bad idea for like the, the sort of level one strike throw pressure. Sure. I'll take it. Oh, he was out of range. Horrible. I meant to heavy kick, but I was walking for it, so I got wheel kick. And you know what? It worked is the best part. He was dead. We missed Borscht after heavy kick. Right. Yes, you can't do that. But honestly, I, I didn't know if uh, the spacing was right. I guess Borscht is pretty huge, though. We were labbing it with the, with the Kimberly punish at the end of the last episode, right? Probably just believe in it pretty much all the time. Owie. Okay. Bonk. Bonk. Uh, that's a lot of shit, but I'm very fine, sir. I don't even know if I could have... Like, I don't even know if he could have frame trapped me there, right? Like, with the burnout? And uh, how spaced that was? I don't even know. That might have been a true block string. But, like, you know, if I was really low on health, it wouldn't have killed me uh, guaranteed. But I don't think right there he could have even tried to frame trap a level 3. I'm not certain. Believe in the Borscht that believes in you? Yeah, that's fair. I think that's a... Uh, oh, okay. I mean, that time, not such a good drive uh, drive meter friendly uh, trade for him. Because I spent no drive gauge and he spent 2. But sure. Works for me, certainly. Got okay, empty jump throw. The classic. Howie. My bad. Tried to jump out. No such luck. He just burnt himself out? Sure. Yeah, I mean, I'll take it. No doubt. I'll certainly take it. Wake up level one? Yeah, I mean, he's just he's just so he's just so mad. He just does not want to be anywhere near this geef. And you know, I can't blame him, but man. That level one was a bit of a hero burst for sure. Okay. Really, really bad at checking drive rush right now. I gotta get better at that. Like when I see someone hitting going green, my my first instinct should not be to block. I mean, like, if, you know, if, if, if it's in a bad spot for me or if they're doing it in a, in a block string or something, sure, but... When they're just doing it neutral like that, I can certainly just stick out a button and make their life quite difficult. Oh, why didn't... Yeah, I didn't quite have time to process that was going to be a cross-up. Armor on Heavy Punch got haha funny. That's fine. That's certainly safe from that spacing. No doubt. That level one makes a lot more sense. Fair enough. Stay down, though. He can do it again. If he wants to wake up level 1 again, uh, he can do it. I'm not mad about that. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. I mean, worst case, he's spending basically all of his goddamn meter here, right? Oh, nice. I didn't have the armor to tank through to the DI anymore. Right, we have a big meter advantage on this reap. Let me say we uh, use it immediately. So we can maybe even build up like a level 1 or something. Also, he just spent three drive gauge on that. He's going to lose one and a half from this. Like, round start, he's at half health and damn near burnt out already. There's that uh, meter advantage we were talking about earlier. EXDP? Really? I was so certain he was going to EXDP there. Oh, he's burnt out now. No need to worry about that anymore. Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe a little bit obvious he's going to try and jump out there to avoid that exact thing. So that's on me. Suddenly, it's a little scarier than it should be. No, wake up level one. Level one? Really? Never happens. But no one came. As the Undertale route told me. But no one came. I could have sworn he was going to do, like, off of, off of one of those, he's going to do level one, but no. I guess he felt like he got away with it too much last round. I mean, that's that's a good example right there of, um... Like, yeah, he, he took that round by, you know, wake up level one like, twice and spending a bunch of meter. But then we were very immediately able to... I mean, especially with Geef, more than almost anyone, right? His meter is so useful for him. We were almost immediately able to transition that from like, oh, you got the round to let me spend my three bar advantage to immediately put you on half health in your burnout, right? In Soviet Russia, the termination is filled with you. Oh, man. Bikini, you're, uh, you've been around the block, huh? That is, that, is, that is not a modern meme, let's just say. Let's put it that way. Nice. 
And he is going to recover in time there. Let's not burn any drive gates here. Let's just hit him. And one of those. One of those. True block string there. Bonk, 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 bonk. Well done. Kind of a weird conversion, but it still works. Definitely our best drive reversal punish, uh, by the way, is just SPD, right? Like, not that. But I uh, yeah, sometimes a little bit bad at SPDing on a block stun. It's a big problem. True block string or true... Uh, yeah, block string is the right word. Yeah, there you go. You can do that from pretty much any spacing. Got to believe in the Borsh. That's why, that's why I do heavy kick and not like crouching heavy punch anyway. He's got to make sure to actually hit those conversions when it matters. Good. Perfect parry. One of his only hopes, basically, in that round. So he's doing something like that. Owie. That crouching medium punch from Bison, I think, is plus one. If he wants to spend some meter here, by the way, I'm totally okay with that. He won't. Not yet, anyway. Nope. Just hold him down for a second and kill his ass. Nice. Yeah, that drive rush jab was like a safe way to like not commit to anything on wake up right there. But I just wanted to hold him down. I wanted to let him not get away with that, right? Not like backdash, not do anything, not jump. And then from there, in a more like stable circumstance, we get some, some better okay. All right, cool. Yes, I get hit with raging strikes. Yeah, I was got, you know, in Soviet Russia, the thing is backwards. That's like... That's like day at the zoo, you know. That's like that's like 2009 or something like that. Maybe maybe, maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit uh, newer than I'm giving it credit for. But you are you're not one of the zoomers that I I did the the subway surfer stream for yesterday. That's for damn sure. How much water do you think Geef drinks? I mean, how much food do you think Geef eats, man? Like how many calories do you need to keep that thing going? This, this has got to be like a seven, eight thousand calorie diet on like a on like a deload day, you know. Homie literally steams when he exhales. I mean that too, yeah. He's, he's certainly getting rid of a lot of water too. Always do seven twenty when they prepare you to catch late punish. Wait, isn't this six frames? Isn't uh, isn't seven twenty six frames? Seven. Okay, okay, okay. Because I was like, if it's six frames, it's, it's just a punish straight up on driver. But no, it's seven. Got it. Got it. Okay. I was excited about that for a second, but uh, yeah, no, it is. It is seven. Cool. All right. Well, we're probably going to switch back over and play some Raga before Kirby's tournament starts now. So I'll be end of Street Fighter for the stream. Uh, but yeah, first, let me send YouTube on their way. Hi, YouTube. How's it going? Hope you had a good time with the video. If you did, any kind of likes, subscribes, comments, bells, all that great stuff is always appreciated. I also stream every day from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern if you want to come by and hang out. Uh, I think I have a good time. Link in the description down there. I all, except Fridays. I don't stream on Fridays. I also have a Discord if you'd like to join that. Once again, a great place to hang out, make some friends, you know, do all that that good stuff, you know, learn about fighting games. But if you do join, be nice, or I'll shoot you in the head in Minecraft. You got a thousand real nice people in there. I don't need one extra asshole. I'll have no tolerance. Uh, most importantly, hope you had a great time hanging out today. As always, I know I sure did. I have a lot of fun with Geef, and you know, we uh, are playing some pretty good Geef, man. Like, we, we peaked our head uh, above 1400 and stayed there for the first time in a very, very long time. So that's great. We're slowly climbing our way up these ranks. Still, you know, a long way from Legend. Legend is like 2100 or something, right? Or like 2070 or something. So, you know, we're a really long ways off. But hey, if I got time, oh, I got time if you got time. So anyways, having a lot of fun with the big boy. Going to be a, long, a lot more coming your way. And until then, I will see you in the next one. Peace.